when I look away, about to crash into my face. Just another day on the shelf. Welcome to the CSC B stream. My name is Nitro. Joining me is Ethan, and we are serving the CSC Contender semifinal between the Necromancers of the Hellfire Union franchise and the Storm of the Moist Board of the Drip franchise. Ethan, how you doing? I'm doing great and uh, quite uh, happy to cast this match. Uh, as we can see right now, the background's going on, and uh, Necromancers just won it. Looks like uh, he'll crush. Sort of just sat there at the end, realizing a little bit hard to win a one v three in knife round. Well, technically, it it is the the you have you kind of have to throw the knife round because this is the storm's pick. So uh, this is a necromancer's map pick. So the storm gets to choose a side. I know that you are not exactly a veteran in CSC, but based on name value alone, how, who would you think is going to win this game? Hmm. I like the logo of Storm, so uh, that's what I'm going with today. That's what I'm rooting with. <laughs> yeah, well, never judge your book by its cover. We know that Necromancer is the higher seed at the moment, being seed number two versus Storm, who's a bit lower. I haven't paid enough attention to know how many, but after the pistol round we go, and looks like it's going to be a Aileen with only Zims defending the A side. Oh, looks like it's going to be a rotation right away. Ooh. Basically. Very fast yeah. rotation there from Necromancer. Oh, Zips is already taking some damage. Actually getting the knock. Some trades going through. Two versus two. Now one versus two. Necromancers cleaning them up. Winning the pistol round. That have been a might have been a bit slow there from the XI from the storm there. Allowing Necromancers time to rotate to the site and successfully defend it. In the second yeah, they... round, we can see a PP Bison coming out of Echo, funnily enough. Mm, okay. It might just do all the work here against an Armored Clock from Storm, but we have to see the PP Bison is notorious for its um, utter and a complete incompetence, so you know. But Never it know, doesn't look like they're going its way. Looks like it's going to be a slow ailing to begin with. Yeah. Maybe just trying to see if they get aggressive on them. So, this is an interesting match in that we have four top 10 players in Prospect at play. We have Cure on the Storm side, which is currently the best Prospect uh, contender player by far, with a 1.34 rating across 15 games played. Echo trailing behind with 1.24 rating on 10, 10 games played. And then next up, Swayze, 1.21 rating, 10 12 games played. Way back into the 10th place, we have Healing Crush with 1.16 rating, with 15 games played. So there's a lot of firepower. A lot of firepower. And you see that he's going to win. Oh my. Wise is going to pick up a nice 4k, building up his bank account by a whole lot. So let's see if the T's can, can produce. Produce a crowd out of this bonus round coming up from the CC here. Yeah, let's see how uh, Necromancer can do now in the bonus round for them. I predict it's going to be a fast call. Yeah, it looks like two SMGs starting LP. It looks like it might be a B rush. 
Yep, Swayze's already lighting up a flash for lines and Spidey's gotta be fucking at that He would get two! Ooh, that was a nice lineup for two sway. Lines should get betrayed. Still a bad advantage to the storm. Ooh, Cure picks up Ryzu on the side. All lions? Ooh, punch, catch storm. Uh, yeah, getting caught out right there with their nade out. That is unfortunate. Now Zims is just left in a 1v4 situation. It's going to be quite tough for them to try getting some picks now. Probably just going to try to save. Oh, get some exits. If they could intro mid to be main without the storm, alerting the storm. Well, maybe not because we have healing crush holding the flank. They may get the AK of Spidey drop there. But that was a good protocol. Here, fighting the Clerk on Raizu across the map, and Spidey and Healing Crush just cleaning up their own push. They must have done a lot of preparation work to prepare for this match specifically. So, the Necromancers, right? They are notorious because they spent they were undefeated during the season, dropping zero maps across the whole season. And now it's so being flawless in the playoffs, defeating Kitakao 2-0 yesterday, uh, on Tuesday, rather. So now they are looking to continue their dominant streak. Well, they are looking, so, but I don't know if that's going to be that easy with the Storm, who, again, has a lot of firepower between them. Yeah, it's looking to be a pretty interesting match. Looks like we'll be seeing an op coming in from Raizu. Not a lot of mutos though. Yeah. On, on the necromancers. And it could bite them potentially. Mm. Easy mid control. Nice smoke. Oh, someone tagging Raizu Ooh. quite a bit. Oh, almost knocking them out. Oh, wow. 18 HP. Ryze has got to watch out. Zibs might just miss the timing here on the person looking canal. Ooh, and Ryze getting the head knocked up by Healing Crush. Fantastic pick right there. Taking out Necromancer's offer. It's going to help them a lot. It's going to help out Storm a lot with taking either site. And picking up Complex. Now he, they have all the territory they mean, but the A side has been sort of lost. Ooh, Echo might rotate the side of the And we'll catch Cure on the see. Ooh, nice equalizer by Spidey. Picking up the mana advantage for the Storm. And he might find another. And he will. On two minutes. So easy. And 1v3 right now. Running through the fire. Uh, I cannot convert. Nice multi-kill there from Healing Crush. Just storming into the site. <laughs> Through the intended. fire and the flames. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a nice play there. It's just accelerating towards the mid, the mid area where they know that it's not defended. Only Ryzu on his receiving end there and was tagged pretty much. Down to zero, but one HP by the nades and just finished off by healing crush. So that was a nice protocol, nice map control. Let's see if they can continue the dominant streak so far. It was a nice start for them. Oh, nice. Pick up lines. Yeah, nice early pick there from Fair pick from Complex. They do get taken out by Swayze. It's just a storm is just cleaning them up. Necromancer were able to Necromancer able to pick up uh, one pick, but it's not really gonna damage Storm's economy too much. I do like to remind you that this is the Storm's pick, this Anubis map, so it's understandable that they have a pretty good base, good foundation in playing it, but we'll see if they can convert it against the Necromancers, who we know that is a strong team. Yeah, so for yeah. Storm, this is going to be a really important map to pick up as the lower seeded team. Yes. And a uh, funny story as well, if Storm picks up this map, it means that uh, so Swayze has a bet that if Necromancers win the whole playoffs without a single map drop, he will shave his entire head off and post a video. Oh my. So, uh... Oh. <laughs> Complex. I am surprised they did not die to that nade. They were very low. Let's 
just barely surviving after that miss nate. Looks like the round is okay. Ooh, echo pick up here. Oh, another pick. Oh, oh my. Ooh, Wait, don't one. count them out just yet. Oh, the revolver. revolver. So, what? what that happened? is absurd. Oh, it's just an... They just stood still and the the storm just missed every shot, apparently. Yeah, With excellent. Echo Zim's basically on one HP now. Excellent. The, the, Frags there from Necromancers, both Echo and Zim's. The Deagle and the Revolver does all the work? Yeah, I did I not expect it. that. They were... I guess Storm was low enough on HP that just, like, some body shots and stuff could just take them out. Some of their players were quite tagged up. Very impressive uh, retake there from Necromancers. Tying it up 3-3 three to three now. Now, that basically just almost destroyed the economy of Storm here. If they lose this round, they might have to be on a, on a forest buy or at least on a half buy. Because they will be receiving 1900 at the loss of this round. Well, the same the same thing says to the Necromancers. This is a crucial round to win here from both sides. If they win this round, they will destroy the economy of both sides. Yeah, very crucial round, Spidey getting the first pick. That goes kind of over said maybe. Spidey. Take a move off. Ooh, a lot of mid control relinquish here from the Necromancers basically have no info. It's lucky that the storm doesn't really push it, but at the same time, ooh, Sway is pushing for some info. Good even spot. Not a lot of rounds range. But... Ooh, that Molly actually tags up the two mid people. Yeah, it's gonna help out Necromancers just that little bit more. They're now sacking the B site, which the Storm is about to have an execute. This might be. Oh no! Sway just left. I mean, Ryzu just left mid. Um, just left B. Yeah, they're about but to execute they... here. Sway's in a bad position to stop it though. Ooh, healing oh. crush too quick for the trigger. A good pick from them. Now they're able to get to the site a lot more freely due to that pick onto Echo. For the plant. All oh, right, you're trying to get him through the smoke, but can't quite do it. Really hard retake. They, I think they might have to save here. Yeah, and here getting that frag onto oh. Zim's is basically sealed it. Unless Raizu is very. Oh, he gets caught through the smoke, and Kira will finish off with a free K. That is a star player for the star right now. Leads heads and toes above everyone else in his server right now. They are playing quite well. Now Storm, head of Necromancers. Just as Necromancers tied it up, Storm getting another round under their belts. Looks like the economy is a little bit rough for Necromancers. They're kind of broke right now. In fact, Swayze had to buy a FAMAS. They could not afford him for so. And they are very this low in could... utilities. Yeah, this could be a very, very scuffed round for them potentially with the lack of util. No date left for lines, only a smoke and a flash between every other teammate. And, uh, oh, that's another smoke used at the beginning of the round. Looks like it might be an A setup here, but the complex is too smart for it. It's not going to walk into a really late. Cure might find a duel here against a mid player. Actually, three people against the Raizu here, so he will yep. definitely just push me all back. Yeah, Raizu. Yeah, that's a wise decision right there. Oh, although they could be caught out. Oh, they don't take that much damage though. They get tapped that's a little bit by gain, here. Though. Yeah. Nice the they can basically go to either side now. But it's a, a lot of still an even split. We're just map. needing a charge now. Trying to figure out where to go. They don't have a default spread with 40 left on the clock. 40 seconds left on the clock actually. Looks like it might be a B finish here with Cure lurking in the middle. Yeah, they're getting oh, ready the for a B execute. The clock might be their worst enemy here. They only have 20 seconds left. And there's still a smoke on Echo. Ooh. 
Never mind. Echo is on the other side of the map. Oh Ooh. no! Heal and crush. Ooh. Heal and crush misses a shot. The Papa Cap complex is too smart. Ooh, Echo gets it. And another, oh. but traded out by Spidey. One v three now for Zims. Zims is at full HP though, but likely just gonna have the save here. The economy from Necromancers is not looking that great. They have a kit. They might be able to do this if the, uh... the storm gets too impatient and just leave the bomb site, but. I doubt it. Cure is a very smart player. Yeah. Yeah, they're playing very patient. Around. The best Zims is getting is some exit frags. This is a great start by the Storm here. It's starting up on the CT on the T side, which is we all know that this the stronger side for the for Nubis is the T side. So let's see if the Necromancer can call back call back in this round. Maybe not this round per se, but we'll see what they can do with the safe gun of Zims. Yeah, they're going to have to try to make the most out of uh, what they have. Might be a light buy, potentially, here. Lines putting all of their money in on that MP9 with a flash. Some armor. Oh, it looks like... Okay, it isn't a force, but they're putting some money into this round. So there is a chance for Necromancers to win this, for sure. Yeah, but this is a very mismatch buy, though. I don't yeah. like this decision from the Necromancers, but they are going to push B main and get the all the map control. Ooh, oh, Echo gets spotted out. Three. Healing crush, please get a trade. And another, another one. pick. Uh, maybe a reverb extension. Oh, oh my. That is. Echo finally takes him down, but maybe it's too late. Oh, but Zims is still in play, though. Oh, but they're middle. The two versus two. They have guns. All... Though, and Echo pistol. is and quite a... tagged. Yeah, but they still have armor and guns. They might just yeah. save this. But at the same time, it is doable. It is 100% winnable. Oh, is Zim's just gonna th sneak through the smoke? Oh, Ooh, might if, if I... the timing here. All the footsteps oh, though, no they probably heard them. There's no way Spidey expects this. The flank from. Oh. I think Cure's gonna catch them out though. Oh, oh Spidey man. catches them. This is definitely them. gonna be a save here. Echo took too long trying to flank. Yeah. They will be saving it off though. Mm-hmm. Coming to next oh, Although line. they have to survive. Oh, they do get the pick. Echo the 4k on this round. Nice job from them on the save. Yeah, they, still, we, they still lost the round though, which is sad, but at least this yeah. round they can buy lines. And themselves, I think. It's gonna be a weaker buy from for Swayze though, since uh, they bought last round. Well, actually, Lions doesn't have a gun, or is it just me? Oh yeah, no. They, they have a Hamas. Swayze with almost no nade though, so that could be a problem as a K player. Ooh, almost. Oh. It's gonna be a heavy canal swing here. Two people starting, but no really any control taken. That's a miss nade, miss Molly though from Zims. Kyrus is gonna lurk through the A main. Maybe just disrespecting the smoke. Two defenders on site right now. Echo lines. Nate coming in, but not gonna do any damage They're at all. Nating out B. Ooh, Zim's too quick oh. on the trigger. That's a nice shot to Healing Crush, getting the opening frag for them. Looks like it's a Pipey and Alien here. Both T's from the storm. All four coming to A main. They might have heard this, actually. Might just reinforce the A site now. This is nice work by Zim here eliminating all the angles, but could not find a frag out to Echo. Spidey trying to trade. Mr. Molly though. Oh, Spidey can get caught out here. Ooh, right oh, they... no. Ooh, oh, fantastic what? pick from Spidey. Spidey. Spidey trade out and will trade out onto, here, onto Spidey. But what a chaotic round it was. It almost feels like the storm could have had it there. With yeah. Two, two frags out of nowhere. I felt like Storm didn't really know what site they wanted to push. They had two players uh, committing utility towards B. And it didn't really feel like they were going for a fake or anything. Yeah, it It was like they, they had two people in A main throwing util, but they still had two people really, really far back. 
he's trying to edge towards A, so it might be a little bit of a disjointed take. This time it might be different. Ooh, oh, oh my god, god play. Play. <laughs> This is like the third small third piece of utility in this. Play's gotta practice the mollies. Oh man. The only push was spot nobody in the mid house position. They have been favoring this boost a lot to pass over the mid smoke. Swayze will inch towards canals and see nobody flashed out, but yeah. It's a mid lead right now from the storm. You can definitely hear this. Mid should be reinforced. If Izu is completely alone with fully a flash play, I as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, Izu's about out to get caught and out. cleared yeah. out by Cap. Swayze getting nice the pick on Complex. Play. Ooh, it's mighty picks up Zim on the A side. Ooh, spot mob sided by Swayze. Oh! Oh, Kier! Too quick on the trigger! What's that? Yeah, Necromancer's not able to capitalize on spotting where the bomb was. Do that pick from Kier. Now it's a three it's versus two in favor of Storm. They, they need to stop having Ryzu play mid alone. This is not working. The defense is not working for them at all. It's just... They just soy the fact that Ryzu's playing mid alone is just... Soloing him out, getting all the, the mid control right now. They could just split any side, which is this is what this is what they're doing right now. Just taking the A side from middle. It's gonna be a tough reset for the CCs. Ooh, Echo get a kill on her, but Spidey's gotta get a trade. One versus two now. Uh, lines who not get the flag. Three and ten from them right now. It's not a good game for lines. Yeah, North they're having a bit of a rough loser. game. Yeah, at least Echo's doing well, which yeah, is Echo. the like right now. Echo is having a hell of a game so far. 15 and 7. They need some way to remedy the mid takes from the Storm. The Storm is just waiting, waiting out the initial smoke from the Necromancers. is playing slow and methodical, taking, clearing every single angle from mid and just isolating out Raizu. But this time they have free starting mid. But oh. this is gonna be just an eco healing push. We get attacked by nades and we get finished off. Echoes like as well. Get out. I see. Complex we get. So he's the Anzim. Lines alone against the whole world. Let's see if they can catch a single team running through mid. They might be able Complex to catch to Complex. Depending on if they're looking. Yeah, Complex is too aware, I feel like. Might be able to get a gun around here at mid. Definitely. Yeah, an AK. Oh, oh Complex is watching it! I think, they, like, I think Lions got spotted as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm like 90% sure they got spotted. They do get the AK though, they can definitely save the AK. You just Ooh, have to... Lions, Lions is a reckless fight. They, they, they don't oh, sit so... Lions no! Lions rising oh, uh, right to Complex, and Complex would get the 4k off of the eco bags. Go see yeah. plays from them here. Unfortunately, not able to save the AK. Necromancer is calling for their first tactical timeout. Let's see if they can convert a single round here. They're just getting steamrolled by the Storm's offense right now. Yeah, this is looking like a really rough half for Necromancers. They need to change up their strategy, especially focusing on mid, as you've said. Lines has to cook up a massive full plan here for as full defense for the rest of the half. If they want to try to um, to get at least seven rounds and a half. They cannot win the half now, but this is just this is the the harder side for Anubis, for lack of a better word. So if they can manage to get at least uh, two more rounds to finish the half nine six, they might be, have a chance to win this map. We know we all know that Swayze is a super aggressive player who always likes to go for the opening pick, so the fact that he's been smoked up every single round so far denies him that. Oh, but he was still oh. getting boosted up and getting the first pick. But overextends and gets uh, gets killed by Healing Crush. Healing Crush has been spectacular on the ops, getting all the picks for the storm. Now it's a four versus four. Things have slowed down after that. Oh, healing crush. Ooh. Trying to spot out. Oh, two this missed two shots. shots. That's as unfortunate. As soon as I start singing the praises for him, healing crush. What the hell, man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Caster curse is real. 
Looks like a B side has been reinforced a bit. It can rise you to make it to the B as well. Lions is holding mid alone. Actually, Echo is holding mid. But Lions holding the A side. Papa kept screwing out every angle. Gets smashed up. I mean, it would be main though. It's 45 seconds on the clock. They have to commit right now. It looks like the bomb is inching to A. Lines, only lines on site with no utility left. They can rely on some flashes from Zims and Echo, but they're very far away. Ooh, looks like it, the call is made to rotate. Ryzu is going to rotate to A now. As soon as the hits come and come in, let's see if he's fast enough. They'll be fast enough just to barely catch it. Mm -hmm. And Echo is going to rotate in as well. Yeah, I coming in. Only 15 seconds. They have to plant soon. They Lines just have to, to run in. Life. Oh! They get one. Gets rated out, but they don't know about it. Raizu. Raizu gets one. We'll Raizu get gets two? One. And it looks like Necrovets will win this off of time. Echo gets healing crush there. That's a great defense here from Raizu. And Lines as well, getting one and getting trading out. Just That was just the Storm maybe being a bit indecisive. Yeah, they were very indecisive on where to go, and they only had 15 seconds once the nades start coming in to be able to get on the site and plant the bomb. That is not a lot of time to. They had all do the map control. They had canals. They had B main, A main. They can go anywhere. They could have even split B, but they decided just to wait. And waiting costed them the round. Now they're the necromancers. Oh, an Echo early getting pick the there. first break on healing crush. The opera is gone for the storm. Yeah, fantastic opening pick there from Echo. You know about Necromancer a ton. And Ooh, another pick on a complex! Push. Just an aggressive maneuver here from the Necromancers. Oh, they're suddenly just pushing into the T side of the map. Ooh, Papa Cap to cap up lean. Zims. And lines. Oh, suddenly the round has changed. Yeah, suddenly it's a two versus two. Things are evening up. Oh, oh potentially another up. pick. Raizu with the pick on a Papa Cap now. One versus two. Versus two. Fighting now. He's Both been having an absolutely banger of a game so far. 15 and 7 on him. So yeah. let's see if he can turn around this clutch situation. Both players low. Echo half health, but Raizu basically 1 HP now. I don't think Raizu expects this. Oh, actually oh. he does. He's looking great at it. But he will get cleared out by Spidey. Spidey has a clear path to A now. Echo has to flank. Raizu, Spidey might take enough time for Echo to get inside, get to the... Spide, yes, he knows now. Spidey has no idea that Echo can be here. Oh, Echo makes a lot of noise. I think Spidey might have heard it. There's a both chance. Players, yeah, both players are basically half health by now. They both require two shots to the body to kill. But oh. maybe with a well-placed headshot, both either player can go down. Echo, though, very susceptible to one grenade. One good grenade. Echo might not be watching for this. There's a kid on. Ooh. Oh, that nade might kill him. No. It... Oh no. Oh, oh man. They go for the defuse. What was that, Echo? Oh, uh... I'm surprised they went for the defuse right there. That was a very interesting decision. Okay. From the words of Henry G. Well, blunder. What's he done that for? Oh man, Echo could have had it if yeah. he needed a bit. Oh, that's why patience is a virtue, kids. Man, unfortunate for uh, necromancers. So in the last round here, the pushing B main early. Sims misses the shot and we get dropped. Oh, as was well Wacy. Yeah. A versus... main. Just a. Pushes um, two pushes on each side of the map, both disabled by one lurk, uh, each lurker. It looks like their uh, A player is rotating towards mid now. This side's completely. Yeah, they, they have to stack inside now. There's no way that yeah. they can play default. And anymore. Storm's and about to go towards it. E. Ooh, Echo is might it... have a great timing here. Hold on. Yeah. Oh. Echo might unravel the round. Do they have the timing? They they are currently walking to the storm right now are juggling grenades no one's and nobody's looking towards oh, oh trigger discipline they're about to execute 
Echo gets two. Complex ha healing crush has to go back. Healing crush watching for Echo. This is the shot. the shot. Echo just Echo. completely unravels around. Might get this nade kill. Oh it gets the nade God, kill. Echo. Fantastic round there from Echo getting the 4K to help Necromancers win the round. And the wow. echo from the death. The hands of death calls up to scrap the storm, pulling him down with them. What a play from Echo, getting the nice strike of discipline, the nice flank. Yeah, just a fantastic play from them to help Necromancers get some rounds on the board at the very end of the half. Like I said, nine, eight, six rounds is enough. Maybe enough. This is this should be easier for the Necromancers with the seaside now. Maybe two a pair of duallys onto Echo, two flashes and a two smokes. This might be kind Actually, of an aggressive push. Yeah. Yeah, duallys. That kind of implies like a rush. I feel like almost. Oh, it looks like a mid lean here early. Oh, actually mid to A or just straight up A lean. Oh. Yeah, it's looking like a heavy A lean. They only have one player around mid. Necromancers. Nice is leading the charge with the bomb right before behind him. Ooh. Empty oh, bomb site. One Only one in heaven. Yeah. Oh, kill on the complex. Straight out. Get it. Half cap. Cure, get a cap. Healing Crush and Cure both spotted. Or maybe three not. versus yeah, four. Yeah. Favoring Necromancers. All three coming from camera. Might be receiving and and get dropped by Cure. Oh. So Spidey gets Echo. Rise this looks like a good crush. retake. Oh, one, one versus one. Oh, Whoa. The running head tap from Cure there to secure the round for Storm. Oh my goodness. It's unbelievable from Cure. What an insane sequence. Necromancer had that in the back. Yeah, I, I thought that might... was fully favoring Necromancers there, but Storm. I, I, think they, I think Lines might have overextended there, trying to take the fight in the open. And that just unraveled the round for the Necromancers. Storms is capitalizing on it. Here, hitting nice shots for sure, but that should have been, should never have been around to begin with. Yeah, good retake there for Storm. Capitalizing on some of the mistakes Necromancers made there in the last round. And now into the second round of the half. Lines Ooh, going in really aggressive here. He's gonna be trying okay. to get a pick. Oh, okay, have a two now. Oh, Go Papa for Cap three! Killed. Ooh, Papa Cap can finish up with a 4k. Farming some money, cha-ching! But again, this is a bonus round on the Storm. Let's see if they can pull up something good with these three MP9s and a scout. Yeah, they keep all of their guns into the bonus round. Ooh, but it looks like it might be a tech pause. Oh. The Necromancers are just, uh, they're lacking one player. Lions is gone from Saver. Start playing Crab Rave. Lines is the ITL for the Necromancer, and uh, you know the fact that they're not in server right now. I don't think the Necromancers can do much. I hope that's just a simple. Oh, my game crash got to restart, and not something bigger like internet going out, because that could be really bad for Necromancers. Mm -hmm. To update you on the other ge contender game that's going on right now, we have the rescheduled um, quarterfinal between the Bachelors of. Uh, the Academy franchise and the Cheetahs of the, the Savannah franchise, which uh, which they were delayed because of tech issues. So now they're back. The Bachelors have a map on their side, so they are in the second map. It is in overtime right now. The Bachelors are currently leading seventeen to sixteen. No, it's the Cheetahs who are leading seventeen to sixteen. So we'll see who is gonna win the this quarterfinal and move on to face. The assassin, or yeah, no, the the Necromatas in the next uh, semifinal. But right now we're in the this semifinal, and at the end of the series, we'll see who between the Storm and the Necromancers who kind of clinched the first grand final spot. Yeah, a lot on the line here. Looks like the tech pause is over. We have lines back in the lobby. Let's go. Let's see how this bonus round goes. I want to put a little microscope on Swayze right now. Being the, the second best player for 
Necromancers. He's right now 9 and 15. Not the greatest sat line. I, I'm i completely sure that he will turn it back. But it wasn't a really inspiring start from him. Echo would take a lot of damage from the MP9 spamming. Actually, no, from the FAMAS spamming. Curious is... Ooh. Not a lot of map control from the T side right now. Yeah. Just a very concentrated pack in the canal. So let's see if Cure overextends and Ooh. maybe gives up a pick. No, but Cure is too smart for it. Yeah, Cure is going to play it safe. They know that Storm or that Necromancers have the better guns in this situation. Echo going to be entering. Looks like they're going for a V execute here. Cure gets the pick though on Echo. Oh, and a flank coming in suddenly from Papa Cap. Gonna be capping Raizu. Now it's a five versus three. Oh man, how is that fallen for the... No no one was holding mid or actually B for Necromancers. What happened there? How is Papa Cap allowed to... Oh man. Lions is waiting in... So you can it here, Papa Cap who gets flashed up, but dropping Molly in response. Very slow, 15 seconds left. Yeah, I think that they might have to saving. save here. Oh, they're just... Yeah, they are saving. There's no, no other time left. option. Yeah, they waited a bit too long to decide on where they would go. And it's going to be another round win for Storm. On the that bonus a, round as well. Very weird round. Oh, oh, and man. a pick no, right there Swayze. for Spidey! Oh. oh no, Swayze misses the spray! Oh man. I'm surprised they got that kill from that range with the MP9. That is a very far range. Oh, that is a just kill. a... That's a sh oh, and Sw what? Swayze will get dropped in AK without armor? Uh... <laughs> uh okay. Uh, I respect the decision. It is a dumbass decision, but I respect it. <laughs> Trust. Oh, Zim's okay. gets still on healing crush. Let's go. This is the opening that they desperately need oh, this, but Papa oh, Cap oh, through the Cap. smoke. Check in PC. Just, what is that? Just randomly sprays through. Gets a headshot. Tying. Now it's a four versus four. Oh man, I was, I was just hyped for the necromancers. But, whether or not they could get the opening pick, they did, but what? Oh, God, it's fine, see. Otherwise, immediately, ooh, Kiru mollied out so he can get the kill on him. Oh, oh doesn't perhaps. get the kill just yet, but that nade, oh, it's ooh. so close. Swayze is... basically is... 1 HP now, no armor. Any yeah. kind of bullet, like a, a sip of these would kill him. Oh. Echo gets killed by Complex on the A site. This is... This is just horrendous from the Necromancers. They this have is, no map control. This is so rough. Swayze's trying to poke into the B site, but with so little HP, I'm not sure how much they can really do. Oh, oh Swayze didn't spot up here. Four by three. Well, I should get a trade on to Kappa Cap, but it might be a little too late. They have four, 33 seconds left. Three, it's a 2v3. There is no... On, on, on B. Necromites have no nades for this execute. They just have to go in completely dry and just try to make something of it. They get on oh, the no, site. No one, no one clears cure though. This, oh, oh man, Spidey gets dropped by Raizu. Oh, I mean, oh, three versus one. one. Yeah, Lions is just gonna get taken out right there. I Not too much they, they can do. Yeah, I can't believe they didn't clear out cure though. Yeah, that, that could have. Oh man, very unfortunate around there for necromancers it just feels like they're not really getting the map control they really need to be able to execute on these sites that is rough from the necromancers there's so much money built for the storm yeah the they have right now would five digit money right now that's insane infinite money to do whatever they really want if the, if the necromancers rounds. want to like have a hope of breaking Storm's money, they'll have to win at least three rounds in a row cleanly. There's not even a any room for error right now. Yeah. This line has to call a master T side to have a chance of calling it back. I mean, also just the round count. I mean, Storm's three rounds away from winning the map. It's been a very 
I don't want to say bad, but it's very uninspired on a necromancy right now. They don't really have any like pocket strat or any play that they want to throw in. It doesn't help as well that their individuals are not really hitting shots with rising lines. Actually, all four members of, of the Necromancers are not hitting any shots against the uh, hard hitters of Storm, but still, there's not a lot of not a lot of zaps behind these plays. They're just, yeah. just waiting for the picks to come to them. I mean, it, it did come to them last round, but they just gave it away immediately. I mean, admittedly, they just did a nice shot. Like this, Kier just hit it right through smoke against Wazy. just couldn't do anything against that. Oh, nice to get a kill on his healing crush, though. That's the upper trap, I believe. Yeah, evening out the round. Four versus four. They have the mid control. Yeah, it but looks at the like same they're... time. Oof. Oh, Papa Cap is so low. Complex is getting a pick on Raizu. Oh, the A, the A lurker keeps getting dropped. They have like only one Abbey to go. Ooh, Lion's getting kill on Echo. That's a TK now. Zim's gonna have to pack for open. Wait, what? No, oh, no, no, no way, Zim's. No. Not like this. No, That's Zim's. so unfortunate. And they grabbed the op as well. 14-6. They had the info. Uh, had the info that complex is... Oh, man. That is... Necromancers. I don't want to... I don't want to say anything bad to the Necromancers, but how is this the team that went flawless during the season? This is not the same team that we've seen throughout the season. This is... Yeah. Some, some people have taken the bodies of the Necromancers and just completely... Discombobulated them. There's, there's, there's no other words to say right now. They are on the back foot for the entirety of the game. There's no more room for error. The, the back accounts of the storm, each storm member, is out of this world. Like the only negative member for a storm right now is Papa Cap, and even then, he has 10 kills, 14 deaths, and 79 ADR, which is not bad at all. He just didn't have a lot of chances to get the kills because. Here, Spidey, Healing Crush, they're just eating up all the members of the Necromancers. Looks no, like the it's... Necro... Looks like they're going for an X. Oh yeah, they are. Might be kind of a fast execute as well. They're just kind of running in. Oh, yeah. A smoke might slow down lines. Oh, Echo just leading the charge. Oh, he will not clear out the complex. I can catch up a cap. Ooh, finally trade coming in. Free be free. Wazy with a P90. He's getting nated how to half HP. Guys are joining him. Ooh, it's way we get the kill on the killing crush. Now grabs the op. There we go. Some variation in the play. They push A and they had all the kills, even though the A is attacked with two people. Ooh, perhaps. This is Cure. This is Cure we're talking about. Had to could get easy. this. Ooh, but the nade just misses Mark completely. Oh Ooh. my. It's doable. That's no Wazy. 14 HP. Kier can clutch this! Kier's just gonna go for the defuse? Oh, they don't get it! Swayze, oh, it so taking close. them out! Kier oh, was so close to the 1v3. Oh, man. That was almost a perfect play there from Necromancers with the almost perfect uh, crossfire. Kier's is too strong. It's coming in swing. If that data landed, Kier would have won that round. 100%. Yeah, that was a little bit... Necromancer did pretty good at the beginning. A little bit shaky towards the end of the round, but they did secure it at the very least. And they desperately it, need every round they can get right now. They have to pretty much win every round. round. They had the side. They just couldn't stick the off the path for some reasons. Another one of this 8 execute. Ooh. Oh, the head oh. on. And we get the multi kill. Cure catching Zim. There's no way to expect Spidey in the back of the side. Oh, Spidey. Oh, we get the kill. Wazy. That's a quick rotation there from Papa Cap. Just, he's a mid player. Definitely. They, I think they might have expected him to come from mid, not just drop down to the side that quickly. Either way, just a, just a slight variation from the storm. It's actually complex there. Just completely catching the Necromancer off guard. Story the money though, they're just buying two ops now. <laughs> Might become damn undoing, I'm not sure.
maybe the Kira could miss one shot for once. Yeah, Necromancer's a really rough buy right now. This guy looks crazy. Why is it getting so much Oh, Saidi might have overextended. They do get the AK. Oh, uh, this guy looks crazy immediately. Oh, man. The Oppa's healing crush has been monumental so far for the storm. He's getting all the kills. Go. Trying to get into B, but they're gonna get caught. Actually, Ooh, no, nice Echo! Echo with two Ooh, fantastic Echo. frags to open up the entire site for Necromancers! Now it's Ooh, two versus four. Push here. No, don't overextend, Echo. You are in a perfect position for Necromancers. For the Apple Clap. It looks like the Storm is gonna go for the save here. Yeah. Still money on Healing Crush, Spidey. Still money on basically three members of the team, but they guess they, I guess they'll go for the save. Yeah, oh, God, with right. how much money they have, I'm kind of surprised they aren't just going for it. Well, but, Papa Cap fair. does need a drop in the next round, and I think so does Cure to an extent. So, I think they're playing for the long game. Taking out lines, yeah, which is going to be a great find. Now, only three members left on the Necromancer, and their buy is going to be a little bit mismatched next round. Yeah, that's going to hurt Necromancer's economy even more. At least they do get the round win, though, and the bomb planted, so... This is gonna be should. Ha this is gonna have to be an absolutely massive T sack coming from the Necromancers if they have a chance to call back to the overtime here. Yeah, they it's have been done before. It's been done before, but I don't know if the Necromancers can. They have to completely change how they're playing. They're playing a little bit too lost and not really going for the map control they really need. Yeah, they're just not. They're just losing duels right now. They are not really winning any opening duels. Yeah, Say that for as well. some rounds that Echo Zims actually are <laughs> Say for those rounds, they're just losing all the opening fags. Swayze as well, as the entry, he's been since to say the least. Not the best game for him, but you know, maybe if we can find a form. If it's any round, it's gonna be this round. Oh Swayze and you find though. A kill on the with this with the creek actually, that's pretty funny. Yeah, nice opening pick from them. Opens up the mid just a little bit. It's now only Papa Cap is watching it. Ooh, line's almost spreading into Kier. Kier's just sending headshot right now. And we get to go Echo. What? Oh no. Oh it's... no. What is going on? Why? Uh huh. Kier just swings out and gets two of them. What was Lines doing? What was Echo doing? Sway. Walking into the A site, trying to something done here. Complex is oh. in sort of an angle and get to go on Sway. Traded out by Raizu is just a 2v3. It is completely doable, but it is just Raizu alone on the site right now. Zims has to pull a miraculous flank here. Zims needs oh, oh no. no. Now Zims oh, is across no. the entire map. They need to they need to run to that bomb right that now. Is There's here. No... Yeah. They have no time. That is GG. Necromancers have, a have officially lost a single map. Sway so will not shave his head anymore. <laughs> but that that was just horrible. Even though the score was not as as close as it was. It was the eight rounds Necromancers have, most of them I think came down to Echo being a brilliant individual. But Storm just had a masterful, masterful round. Now, on to the second map. We'll be back after a short break. Yep, see y'all then. Late this morning, body aching, moving is a burden I can't lift my head. Slide
and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the CSC Contender Semi-Final between the Storms and the Necromancers. The Storm has won the first map 16 to 8 in a very, very dominant fashion. Like, the Storms, uh, Necromancers have been just outclassed. Like, Ethan, how do you feel about that match, looking at, back at it? Yeah, they've had a bit of a rough game, it feels like. It feels like they were just kind of uncoordinated in a lot of their attacks on T side, and they didn't really know what they wanted to really do. And I'm kind of hoping to see them kind of uh, change that up a little bit, try to maybe pull out some more strats together and stuff. It feels like they didn't really have a lot of strats and stuff coming into that map. To be fair, that was his Storm's pick. And coming into the Necromancer's pick, Vertigo is the strongest map. And yeah. yeah like Rodox says in the chat right now, Vertigo is kind of Necromancer's maximum opus map. And Lyson get the opening of Spike and trade it out. Cure with Spike to kill on the crazy. It's an open bomb site, sorta. Oh, Echo going for the plant. Looks like they'll get it. Three versus three. Ooh, cure. cure too sharp. Good pick for Cure. Echo trading them out though. Two versus two. Complex getting the kill onto Echo. Okay, now it's okay. just down to Raizu. Raizu's tagged up though. Trying to run away. Looking really tricky for Raizu, oh, and yeah, just two people peeking them at the same time. It's really hard for them to. That was a nice really win there from the storm, and Q yeah. as well. Just getting a two super nice, super nice taps there. And this is even though the lines got the opening trade, uh, the opening pick, it was just traded out very quickly and very efficiently by the storms, knowing that the necromancers were just gonna hit a massive quickly. I think there was this miss smoke as well. Onto the A site, or was it? A, I don't. I don't know if it was intentional or not. But either way, the first round goes storm, and it's gonna be an eco from the necromancers with only a deagle on echo, and a <laughs> an RA on lines. The mid ramp smoke <laughs> might help the necromancers, but I wouldn't put too much stock on it. Two people starting B though. This will be heard from echo healing crush to receive the front of the deagle. Echo is known for his um, sharp shooting, so let's see if he can smooth can connect to even crush his head. Oh, oh. I thought he almost fell there. Echo, you scared me. Definitely Watch made noise. Step. Yeah, healing crush definitely hurt that. Zim's who take a little bit of damage and a lot of damage coming from the game. Oh, the air just got wiped out completely there by by a storm right there. No, no chance there. Either yeah. way, it's gonna be quick and easy. The P250, uh, the MP9s got to farm a bit of cash, but again, five MP9s against the Necromancer's AKs and a Creek from from Zims. So let's see if they're gonna have a pocket strat storm to fight against this full buy here from the Necromancers. Yeah, they just have the hug really tight corners and stuff. I mean, just five MP5s. They cannot take any long range duels whatsoever. Oh, feeling for us. Uh, oh, Lion's getting tacked quite a bit through the smoke right there. Nearly uh, just, killed. And oh, now man. they finally do get picked. So the strategy just is stacked mid. And just picking up sway and lines one by one. Oh, Echo catching out Wait, healing crush. Getting caught it out. Yeah, could open up the sort side. of an open invitation for B. It's still open. Oh, but uh, it's complex too sharp. Echo receiving bullet into his head. Just Raizu and Zim's left in a two versus four. It's going to be a little bit tough, especially because they're so split apart right now. Now this is... I, I don't know. I think Sway and Lines might have overextended a bit. They saw a smoke in the middle... And they just did think that there were gonna be people on playing around the smoke. Didn't help that they got spammed as well, but you know. Oh, okay. Zimsu find a kill on top caps. The could complex open up. might be complex is in a prime position and he would drop Raizu. That's a great kill on complex right now. A spectacular start. Six kills and zero death. I think this is gonna be a savior from Zims. Yeah. Thirty seconds. You can do with a they are moving forward, though. I don't know if they're trying to scrape up this round last second. 19 seconds. Uh, and we get cleaned sure. up by Cure. Cure is... Man. Love this guy. Can they, I stop? They, they've been playing well this whole series, it feels like. 
Necromancer is immediately calling a tactical timeout after that round. Yeah. Spidey, Complex, and Kira both with a lot of money. Spidey still with uh, zero ADR, zero damage dealt. It's, it's hard to be an A anchor when they're just not going A, but you know, such is life. Right now, Necromancers are very much on the back foot. It's still early in the, in the game, though, so they could still turn around, but it is a very inspiring start for the Storm. I think the three rounds early, getting some money to boot. If this Necromancers manage to win this, this round, it would probably reset the economy of the Storm, but it's unlikely, and I think the Storm would just win this round cleanly with no difficulty at all, and they will build up their bank accounts much further. Yeah, I think... Necromancer is going to be trying to get some guns and then save them for the next round. That's really the best they can hope for. Ooh, oh, Rising, Rising though! Oh, That's a good opener, potentially. Echo. Oh, missing some very crucial shots there. Ooh, I'm going to get taken out by Spidey. Spidey. Dude, poor resetting. Rising's resetting. Oh? He's immediately running back. What is going I on? Think, Just wait. I think... Are they trying to go to the other site? Oh, but the complex oh. hearing that. I think cop. Yeah, what is going on? They dropped the bomb uh, nearby their spawn. It looks like. Oh, yeah, it looks like would... Raizu was just going for a really crazy very... flank, but no, it's a very complex was watching play. it. Yeah, they were definitely heard running back, but I don't see the reason. That I was think... a very so interesting I think plan... play. I think the plan I... was just you. Backstab them, but they made so much noise and there's just so much time in the pop that they they could have used instead of like just fully running it. Either way, this is a a fourth round for the storm and a lot of money on Spidey and Complex. Now Complex has ten thousand dollars. You probably drop Papa Cat. But man, so. What do you think the Necromancer should do again? Not quite sure. It feels like they're really struggling to execute on these sides. And even then, and they also overextend a lot whenever uh, they get the bomb down. They get a pick, they get the site opened up, and then they start overextending, and it allows Storm to have a chance to be able to... Oh, lagging Spidey, it looks like. Top. Yeah, that'll teach him. Relinquish his ramp control. Yeah, they're backing Ooh, off they're after that. Oh, perhaps not. Okay. He's waiting. Ramp's re smoke. What are they doing, the Necromancer? Is waiting for okay. the ramp to come? Oh, Sway is just is coming in. Sway is just entering into B site right now. The entirety of Necromancer is a split up. Sway Ooh. getting taken out by Complex. Echo taking out Popcap. I think Complex is reading this right. Complex is holding the smoke. He knows that Necromancer is actually playing behind the smoke. Rise is not healing by the enemy job. Complex. Whoa! What a cure! Fantastic kill there from Raizu. Almost getting a third there, but Spidey will take a, them out. It's gonna be a 1v4 from Spidey here. 1 HP from him. Well, 13 HP from him. Like one, and we get dropped by Echo. That was all on top of Raizu getting that bolt attack here right there. Good, good trading. Yeah, great picks there from Raizu to secure Necromancer's first round of the map. Very much needed as Storm were on a roll there for a second, four rounds in a row. It was looking a little bit scary there for Necromancer's, but maybe they can start mounting a bit of a comeback. Get some momentum Kira, swinging in for them. Kira on the MP9. This is going to be a fast play coming in from here. Yeah, they have the they have the enough money to buy an, an M4. So uh, no, perhaps not. Uh, huh? Wait. They only have a MP9 and a Molly, and they just use a Molly. They'll be on an MP9 for the rest of the map, uh, for the rest of the round. Zinsu drop pop a cap. Complex do not get Molly out. Cure find yeah. Echo with an MP9? And we'll upgrade we'll yep. to an AK. Squazy so gets a complex. And, and we'll drop a crush. Nice entry, some Squazy, but you definitely expect Cure to rotate the right that yeah, opens up the site. Oh, you're getting attacked quite a bit through the smoke. Looks it like they're gonna. Be safe here. Wait, yeah. but the bomb is still on A. Bomb's still bottom A ramp. What is going on? Oh my. Necromancers. Yeah, yeah they're just running back. Okay, it is good. Yeah, thankfully it's, they it's have it's enough time to where they can afford that, but. 
yeah, really scrappy. <laughs> they have I the whole the, site for them. Yeah, I think the calls were just a bit too slow there, or the necromancers were just waiting for the aggression coming from the storm to the other side. Either way, they probably has around here now. There's no way that the CTs can retake this, and they will go quick for the save. Yeah, they're they're just saving. Quite sure understandable. Though. I, I still don't know how he got that one kill in middle, even though he was on a single MP9. Maybe he caught Echo trying to throw utilities for the B people or something. I am not sure, but either way, Necromancers on the second round, doubling their round count now. With the, yeah. you know, it was a clean round, so definitely some money building up now. Zim is on a lot of money. Ooh, oh. Sweet Team will, drop, will be dropped by Spidey, but traded out by Rising. I wouldn't count the, the storm out yet next round. They still, I think they still has a sort of good buy. They might have to half buy here, but Kier definitely still very, very dangerous on this AK. They yeah. might just buy around it, or they might just save around it and try to set them up for the opening frag. Both Kier and Complex, eight and two right now. Putting up quite a storm here on the beginning of this map. Looks like Stormly calling a tactical timeout. Yep, I'm trying to discuss what to do with the AK. Yeah. Necromancers took two rounds in a row. They're going to see what they want to do with this. All they have is an AK, so they better make the most out of it. And it is on a very dangerous player. Kier has been playing really well so far on this map. A reminder, 1.34 rating during the season so far. He, he, I did the same in last season in Prospect with the same rating during the season, but th this is a high, higher tier than I was in last season, so it's much, much more impressive what Kier is able to do. And he's super, super sharp on the rifle as well. A little bit of an update. Oh, echo. From the Ooh, oh, oh, wait, spring. Wait, wait. Papa Cap get a drop on Echo. Beefside is completely clear though. The complex is here, all this. What is Rising doing? Okay. I'm trying to get a pick. Get an edge over to the side. Control the site. Raizu picking up the kill. Pop cap. Going for a kill in the complex, and they get it. Cure now, the last player standing for Storm. Might be another save here, but yeah, Raizu they... is going for the hunt. Raizu has oh, a ton of money. They... Raizu might catch them while they're not looking. Oh, they. Raizu stops. They can't go for the hunt here. They hasn't. They have enough money for to afford a loss, one loss here. They definitely do. Rising is looking super sharp right now. Here, I'm gonna save the AK right now. Round secured for Necromancers. Anyway, three rounds in a row now, almost tying it up. Just one more round and they tie it up, four to four. Necromancers are starting to come back into this game for sure. But the real test is now, Swarm has a good buy. Who, yeah. Who might see the op again on heal and crush. They might have not have enough money, actually. Spidey will drop them, actually. Yeah. So now it's a full buy, full utility, full everything. Let's see if they can... Well, actually, no. But a bit of a nade deficit here from the Storm. Either way, let's see if they can win against this full buy. Oh, no, it's about the same amount of nades. There's only two kits though from Saiya and Healing Crush, so we'll have to see if that fact is in this late round here. If the Necromancers ever put the bomb down. Yeah. A bit of an update on the A stream here. We are currently broadcasting the Elite Grand Final uh, from between the Wong Wizards of H4K and the Apostle of UPS. And uh, the H H4K Dwelling Wizards are leading 11 to 6. They they were the one the other day with the extensive marathon of a game, two overtime games. So let's see if it's a long game again or is it gonna be, you know, a sprint from the Dwelling Wizards. But this game so far, Swayze getting dropped by the off peel and crush. I think his first kill of the map actually after eight rounds, after seven rounds. Yeah, they had a bit of a rough start. For them personally when it came to kills but it's 45 the seconds and there's still so little map control for the necromancers yeah, ne what are you doing necromancers have just been kind of 
basically just sitting in spawn, just waiting for something to happen, and Storm's just kind of waiting. Although, just as I started talking about that, Necromancer's oh, wow. entrying Echo. through mid. Whoa! Echo. <laughs> Fantastic picks there from Echo, a 3k what already. The... We should probably jinx him much more. Which is oh, wow. Has been so th this is when things are happening for, uh, for Necromancer. When Echo, when the entries are getting all the kills. When they are not, things are getting dicey from for necromancers. But this is where they do the best work on Vertigo, where Echo's way, all those people are getting all the openings. Raizu as well contributing. And Zim's on the op, maybe not a, not as much so far, but still he's very impactful on the op. And yeah, looks like they're tying it up four four now. Storm's money is completely done. They have to either. Again, save around the, the M4 to save the guns, or just for eco next round. Yeah, money is looking quite rough for Storm right now. Meanwhile, Necromancers are doing very good on their e economy. Zim's at 12,000 right now. They're getting close to maxing out. Yeah, the situation is completely turned around. Yeah, four rounds ago, we were just talking about Storm being in that position, and now suddenly Necromancers are in that exact same position Storm was just four rounds ago. It looks like they will be buying an M4 and an MP9. Kieran Spidey. Save them from Spidey. Kieran has enough money for an MP9 and armor. And again, we're not counting him out. He's done a hell of a work. Oh, collision course. Echo will take out Kieran, though, with 7 HP to boot. Probably gonna see this mid control here though. Good opening the M kill there. Save them for us. Go and play. Yeah, they have forced towards uh, A as I see. This stack is on B, waiting for the entries of Sway to come. It looks like they're about to execute. Just waiting for Echo to get over there. Onto the stack side though. This is this might be dangerous. Sway is coming in. Gets oh. two. And might get free. Ooh, getting dropped by Complex. Freeze there from Slay. And Raizu will finish the job. That's a nice opening there. Really good picks. Spidey left all alone in one versus four. Looks like they are going to try contesting the site a little bit. No, they're just going back to A. So Raizu is just here on lurk duty. And Spidey will probably learn of this soon. -ish. Yeah. Well... Uh... Spidey get caught out. Oh, yeah, they get caught out by Raizu. Unfortunate for Spidey. And so, now Necromancers completely flipping this map on its head. And now yeah. they're in the lead against Storm. Mm hmm. So a, a, a small pattern I've been noticing with the Necromancers two sides so far. They've been just splitting up with two on each side and, uh, and Echo working middle alone. A Swayze is set up as the anti side entry, right, with one person throwing nade for him. And that is a good, good plan so far. I don't know if it's gonna work anymore. So, oh yeah, now we can see a variation coming up from them. A little more of a focus towards mid four people. Right oh, here. Sure. Gets one oh, kill, but it's his own team. Yeah, oh, it's still from CT out. now. Play, Swayze getting the opening as well. Oh, you and Crush would drop lines, but Zim's dropped he and Crush. Complex would drop Raizu, though. Two versus two, two now. Two. Although, both of the Necromancer players are kind of buddied up right now. They could get this kill on Spidey. If they Ooh. catch the... Zim catches Spidey, but not before they can take out Sway. And now it's just down to a one versus one. Zim's versus Complex here. Complex desperately going to be wanting to try tying this game up. Complex has a little bit of an HP advantage, but I don't think that matters against an op like here. It, it should not matter. The bomb is probably a default. Complex still has his smoke though, so that should be should be good for him. Oh, but would they... Some noise. Uh, oh, they're gonna start knowing about it. Oh, but they actually try to they fake it. it. Goes for another fake. Waits for the peek out. Gets the kill! Is there enough time? I think, I there's, think enough th time. there's enough time for sure. Storm are going to be taking oh, the round man. and tying up the game once again. Five to five now. Very good clutch oh, there from Complex. I think Sway might have just... <laughs> a little bit of a sabotage there. 
by a blinding echo entering out mid and giving Kier the, the opening fag. Kier was not blind at all, by the way. Yeah, so, I think uh, also having an op in a 1v1 situation against an AK can be kind of rough, to be honest. That is true. I think the op kind of held them back because they couldn't really spray through that smoke at all to be able to contest it. Yeah, um, so Complex they... displayed that perfectly right there. Yeah, very good round there from Complex. 11 and 5 now. They're the B anchor, mind you. They're just posting up a lot of good numbers so far. Necromancer is just hitting B a lot. A lot of Butos are being done. Oh, yeah. So they're, they're about to execute. Crap. Yeah, there's no bombs Slay. yet. So they're, they're just faking. They're doing their best work here. Ooh, oh. the complex will drop Raizu. And there's no refrag onto that as well. So Sway's just left here by themselves with three members of Storm on there, the side. There's no, there's no mobilization, mobilization at all on the A side. They're just sitting down there in the middle as well as A. With how they're many players taking... are on this site? Necromancer is just going and trying to. Oh, looks like Sway will be getting a pick onto uh, Healing Crush, but not before that one of the teammates. That might be a little too late. Uh, this is looking really messy here from Necromancers. I'm not quite sure what kind of plan they're wanting to really do here. It looks like they're gonna end on B. It's not really they a lot of time here. Up. Yeah. So one person behind Generator, and uh, two people rotated in complex. Papa Cap, Kier trailing behind, Kier. Trying to get Ooh, the bomb down. Looks like they will get it down. Ooh, Papa Cap getting killed. Traded out by lines. Two versus two now. Don't overextend lines. Oh, lines is kind of in a scary spot. Both players on Storm know exactly where they're at. Oh. Lines Major's not going to try to sins. And now, Spidey just down to a one versus one, Spidey getting the pick. Spidey, Spidey no though. Oh, he still has a smoke. There's oh, not a lot of time though. They have to decide perfect. what they're going to do soon. Goes for a nade, but it doesn't oh, he land. Does, he, does, he does his one. Oh, he it, didn't spot the bomb. Well, he did spot the... Zims gets the kill at the very end and secures the round. There just didn't, wasn't really a lot of time oh, there. That was for so, Stormaker. so messy. What was that oh, round? Oh, man. There... From both teams, it just felt really messy. Necromancers would just not commit to a site at all. And Storm would and... just left the site after a bit of overrotation there. They, they overrotated twice. Once because there was a lot of details on it to be, and once because there was no... Now he's that far too. I mean, probably a good read by Necromancer at the latter stage. Ooh. Oh, my, a lot Damn. of action coming up. Sway with three kills. Echo getting a kill of their own. Pressure put on B right now, and Swayze is eating them up like it's breakfast. After a little of a slow start for Sway, this has been very, very much. Looks like they're trying to go for the 4K. They're right next to Spidey. Will they catch them though? Sway patiently waiting, trying to find their last player. Oh, not much to hear from Sway. He's just trying to go for the exit. Maybe Sway doesn't check this, but it's unlike. Uh, well, it's it like, looks yeah. like it looks like Sway yeah. isn't gonna find it, Spidey, unless Spidey comes to them. But it's very unlikely. This is a very good turnaround here from the store uh, from the they Necromancers. Might be able to get Zim this kill might on Zim. Oh, oh my no. Zim! Head on a swivel. Good job, Zims. Good player. Pre-aiming the angle, catches them out. Necromancers, another round win on the board. Five to seven. Now we have to look. We have we have to put a little bit of scrutiny onto the healing crush here. They are the upper of the team, and but they are they haven't gotten a lot of chances to go for the pick here. They have been just pressuring B a lot, the necromancers, but the storm hasn't really done a lot to set up, try to set up the op to you know try to remedy that. Might look like a more of a slower lean here, but. It should, it should just be a B. Looks like every other round. It's been working so well for the Necromancer so far. There's no question. There's no uh, question in this game that they might just marry it up. Ooh, a boost oh. this time. Ryzy boosting his way on top of the wood ball. They might hear it though. Oh, 
Spike catch out Healing Crush, and they actually do. They get the pick on Healing Crush. Starting to try to injury to Spike. Gets another pick on a complex. Echo Ooh, also Echo. getting cure. And suddenly, it's a one versus three. Papa Cap by themselves. They are tra Ooh, Oh, they do get the pick on Raizu. That is the bomb. Oh, they man. could they could win this. this. They could win this 1v3. They have the bomb so far away from the bomb sites right now. They just got to guard it right now. They are low on HP, though. 46 HP. They do have most of their armor. Oh, they get the oh, pick no. on Sway. One versus one. Papa Cap going for the ace potentially here. That's oh, they're true. gonna run away from the bomb. Yeah, oh, Echo doesn't notice. Echo they're doesn't going know. for the flank. Oh wait, they're aware of it. Wait, they're not aware. They missed oh, the no. shot on the Echo. Oh no, and Echo has the bomb. They're gonna be going over to A right now. Yo, this is Will a they good play to A or B? Cap. No, wait, wait. This oh, is looks. Good read. They're going oh. over to B. Oh man. This is a play on play on play here. They're late years to this thing. It looks like Papa Cap has realized the bomb is gone. And they actually do go towards B, which is where they're going. They may not realize it. Will they be able to catch him out? No, they do not. Echo taking out Papa Cap, denying the ace and denying the round from Storm. Oh, Ooh, man. That is unfortunate. That is so unfortunate Cap's... for Papa Cap. They were on track to an ace. So well. Yeah, Papa Cap played that so well, but just... It's, it's, it's a shame that the last person is Echo, right? The second best per player of contender. So there's no, it's no question that they would clutch that. But yeah, pop that almost almost got dicey there. Echo Mancers, Pop Cap is catching the bomb. Oh, oh a free melee actually. Hero catch out Echo Sway again with the edge. Oh, this guy. He's on fire right now. He will throw a fire onto site where remember storm besides. Goes back to Jenny. Yep, yeah, looks like they're getting in sight for free mostly. Storm aren't really contesting this bomb being planted. They don't really have the weapon at all. A pick from Zim, but they're getting instantly grabbed by Spidey. Spidey getting a kill in the complex. Rise is just gonna clean up Spidey. Another round for Necromancers. Necromancers have completely turned this half around for their favor. Storm were in the lead in the beginning. They are the kind of get some momentum after the pistol, but the second Necromancers start having the money to be able to buy, it's just been completely in favor of them. They have looked in they have looked in control for this half. That's I mean Sway is just on point right now. Oh uh maybe a bit um fed up with the, the last kills he's been getting Echo. <laughs> I think Kira will find Echo. Try to play around the smoke there. That's a good opening. But this is this time is different. It's an alien. But the bomb! Again! Oh, Kira could spot the bomb. Oh no, Kira's is way ahead of the Necromancer right now. You hear this? You hear the bomb being picked up. He's going to A and the whole team is ro rotating to A right now. This could be such a good lurk here from them if they get the timing right. It this looks like just... the bomb will be planted onto A soon enough. Sway getting a kill on the healing crush. Turning it to a four versus four. Here, get spotted out. You get spotted out. And we get dropped by Zims. This is such a hard retake for the Storm here. But they have to go for it. So that's not fair. Kits on all three members. Smoke and a flash on top of cap. We'll see if it's going to go in play. It's doable, but it's really tough. The Sway's position is so hard and, to get right Oh, now. yeah. Spidey oh, gets a kill on Sway despite that. And another oh, pick no. on the line. Oh, and now it's just a two. On complex, one versus two. Spidey all alone. They're both solo, though. There's no time. There's, There's no, no time. time. Oh, but he gets a pick. It's... Oh my goodness. Spidey gets the pick onto Zibs and Raizu. No winning. Them. Oh, no, wait. There's not enough time. My bad, my bad. Oh my goodness. That's so unfortunate. They got all the picks at the end, but there just was not enough time. And now, going to the second half, this is looking like a... This is going to be kind of rough for Storm. 5 to 10. Yeah, it's just... Full on B execute after B execute after B execute. Then on the last round, they just completely flipped the script and went A. And that I think that might have completely caught the Necro the Storm off guard. I'm the surprised. Kier, Kier got the opening frag, but it was in no to no avail because the ace has already been taken. That was such a hard retake for Storm right there. On to the second half, Lines and Swayze with the utilities right here. No kit in play though, funnily enough.
all so five zero. armor on the storm, no utility at all. They just gotta rely on their individual powers to win this round. Yeah, just Healing straight up, though. armored glocks in hand. They're just gonna go for it. They're just gonna go for a run. It looks like Necromancers might be catching on to this. Ooh, four versus four. There's a trade coming in. Flash blinding them. All oh, spidey the up, I guess. Ooh, yeah. You're getting kill on Ryzu. That's for getting trade. The baby trade is definitely doable. They're going for a plant right here, but it's kind of a risky spot. They could get shot through the smoke. They get shot a little bit, but they do get the plant down. Ooh, Ryzu gonna kill on Healing Crush. Two versus three. It's looking like the retake's possible. For Necromancers. Spidey though getting two kills! It's suddenly two versus one! Echo's the last one remaining for Necromancers. They're gonna have to try to clutch it up somehow. But the timer's oh. running out. They don't have a lot of time. There's no There's kids. No kid. They have to just... I don't know what they're gonna do. They do get the kill on the Spidey, but there's just not enough time. Oh, oh is man. Echo's... Go... Are they gonna get the nice Oh my! Ah. They actually. Oh my goodness! There's a chance there. But Storm is gonna pick up the pistol round. A very, very important pistol round for them, as they are down quite a few rounds, and they desperately need some rounds on the board soon. Oh man, that was a four v three retake there. Spidey so just hit some nice shots to end that game and that round, and that was a pistol round going to the Storm. It is not over yet. The Necromancers may have a four-round over Storm, but it could turn around really, really fast. Unless Swayze oh, might this get is, a nice one deep here. This is a very, this very loud This is a game. really crazy push here. Will it work out though? Complex getting a 2k. Going for the oh, 3k yeah. now. And yeah, they're just getting completely wiped out right there. Oof, Complex even getting the Glock kill onto oh, the Echo to wow. finish it up. Just 4k there for Complex. Yeah, farming money. Making money. Yeah, no. Now going... a full by here. No op in play though. Swayze with an M4 and no utility as a B anchor. A, a decoy, I guess, but Oh we gotta put it's good scrutiny here on both lines and and healing crush. They are not I, I neither of them are doing well individually. But only four and five and four kills respectively. So let's see if they can turn it around in the second half or would they just keep capitulating? It's a very, very rough half for both of them. Union Crush as well as the main opera of the storm. Couldn't find anything in the first half. Union Crush just working on the B side. Sue so will receive them with no utility at all. Oh, and Union Crush will get dropped by his way. No utility, no problem. Well, goes Nate for a nade right there, but they, yeah, they've already moved out of that position. Oh, but Sway would definitely, a ton of users coming in the way though. They will stand the ground, and we get another kill on Papa Cap over, what was that spacing? Papa Cap's just going in way ahead of his team. Now the, the teams are getting stuck on to be ramped. No oh, Sway is quite low on HP. Nice Lion's getting on to Spidey. Ooh, Kiru, Kiru find out mid. Yeah, just up the complex now. Oh, oh, Sway is just a such a nuisance in that round. Just being playing around sight like a little rat. Yeah. And it worked. They just no could utility, not no kill point. Sway. They they kept on damaging them little by little, but they could not get the pick on the Sway to help open up the site. And the bonus round is gonna go to Necromancers. That might have been a <laughs> an overextension there from Papa Cap. Going in for the entry way ahead of his teammate. Might be able to catch way off guard. Well, anyone but Sway. Sway is too aware for that. And now they're on a full buy, both the teams and an op on Healing Crush. Let's see if they can do any work with it. Because they haven't been so far. Not enough damage done by either team. To a lot of utilities by Raizu having like no utility left. aggressive on ramp. Yeah, this is a what I call a bait setup. Lines is gonna bait for the for Raizu, or Raizu is gonna bait for Zim, so rather. This with a Mac 10 might just uh, clean them up here with in close range. Oh, yeah, Raizu right now is just being a little. Oh, but they're yeah, so aware. They are so aware of what they're trying to do. Getting the kill onto Zim's. Oh, yeah, he's opening up A. Yeah. They're gonna get the volley. The Flush them out, although the Molly does miss, but they are still flushed out. I guess they have the Molly and just 
thought it would land. Fair enough. Well, and yeah, that's a very, very good start for the storm here. Yeah, and that does allow Spidey to oh, get the plant. Oh man, that was rough from both Raizu and Zims. I think Raizu might have got timing there because if Spidey could have run, if Spidey chumped Peek a little bit more to overextend things, just sending a little bit more, he would have caught the Papa Cap trying to clear off Zims. And Zims would not have died there. Either way, it's a round two to Storm. And only a free round deficit between the two of them. Ooh. Wait, hold on. Oh. Oh. Sway. Sway was going for something, but they, they decided to not. I oh, think Sway didn't spot them. He, I, think, I think Sway thought that Healing Crush spotted them, but they didn't. Wait, did Sway have enough time there where if they just bum rushed it, they could have defused the last? I, I think they could have, but Healing Crush it's was so there. close. It's literally yeah, but, like, uh... yeah, but Healing Crush would have hurt that, so I think yeah. it wouldn't have mattered. Either way, the the CTs are not a they don't have a lot of money. Both Echo and Sway might have to drop here. No, actually, Zims can buy yourself. So. Yeah, they will have enough money for a buy for this round, but next round yeah. they are going to be broke if they lose. Not a ton of utilities. The op trying to go for the B pick and finds nothing. So he's not giving them anything. Yeah, there's a huge utility difference uh, from Storm and Necromancers. This is a this is a smoke that I really like to throw in my own Vertigo game. And that basically is is the as Nafni smoke, which is due to lurk up ramp both ramp and side hall. In the meantime, Pepper Cap will find lines out in the middle. Sure. That, yeah. that is the smoke. That, that is one of the most of all time, for it, sure. No, it's intentional. Trust. Mm -hmm. It has a purpose. Swage is turtling on side here. Oh. So I have to get some bit control. Surely Kier knows that there's a gap. Uh, oh my. Cool. They don't know there's a gap, but they still get the flick onto them. Cure's just too good, man. And Healing Crush should get the Chris Swayze in the end. This is starting to get close. I'm starting to believe. Raizu might be able to get a pick or two here. They're kind of at a decent spot, potentially, but... They have both sides, but, I, yeah, it's going to be the B-side finish. Yeah. I don't think the, the Necromance... Uh, I think, don't think the Storm knows that Raizu's in this kind of position, though. I don't think Raizu knows that they don't know either, so... Yeah, they still have one holding the flank, but... Again, Light is disconnected from the server. Oh. Maybe you're trying to look up some Kerrigan demos you can learn from him. Because... <laughs> oh yeah, Kerrigan doesn't even play Vertigo. Uh, who's a good Vertigo IGL? Uh, Hooksy. No, not oh. really. Pop a cap. Oh, they spot him? Oh, they don't! Raizu! <laughs> popping what? out of thin air! It just gets two picks right there. Whack a mole. Why, oh, just well, they stay alive the though. Ladder. I don't think it they looks, do. Yeah. I, okay. It looks like they'll survive the round. They're not. So they're close. not contesting. All right. It looks some like nice finds though, which is keep, keeping the storm honest. Yeah. It looks like we'll be seeing a tech pause potentially. Oh wait, never mind. I think. Okay, they already got back in. Yeah, those those demos are really short because G two keeps getting uh, blown out of the water. In the meantime, the Walling Wizards have won the first map in the Elite Grand Final against the Impastors. On to the second map, Ancient, now. We'll see if the Impastors can come back or the Walling Wizards will just finish the season with a 2 0 record in the Grand Final. But we are the B Sheep. We don't, we don't care about the A Sheep, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> B Stream, best stream. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Anonymous, by the way. Go to, go to the server. She's, 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 she's held the stream together the whole time. The observers, we, we all know that no matter how bad the observing is, observers always in a heart. I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> Anyways, uh, going into the round after the tech pause ended. Nice is on Looks like a, a five seven. Yeah. So it's not out. Lines does not have a lot to work with, really, aside from some nades and that 5-7. Well, Sway. 
kind of in a risky spot right here. Trying to catch someone out. Ooh, oh, God, first. Got an echo. The top frag earth is gone. For oh, actually, it's waste top. Oh, nice date thing. kill. Spidey getting a kill to swing. Oh. Oh man. That Another was a kill. Over extension from both. Way here. Four versus two now. I don't Favorite think they're gonna storm? retake this. There, there's no way that it can retake this. Yeah, there, yeah, there's no way. Lions only has a five seven. Like. It would pretty much just come down to Raizu. Yeah, but either way. Oh, I, we have a shocking update here. The Cheetahs, the oh, the other dog, is about to beat the Bachelors. The number one seeded team in the entire playoffs. They're wow. currently up 13-5 to five on map free Ancient of the quarterfinals. Oh. That's going Jeez. on right now. So this might... If, if the Storm... Is able to take down the necromancers tonight. It's gonna mean that the number one seeded team and the second seeded team is gone from the playoffs. Are both gone? I mean, that's really a crazy upset. Yeah. Guess we'll see how that goes. Oh, Lions are gonna pick on a cure right for the round ends with a five seven. This Jumps out of theirs, nowhere. Yeah, this this ten five lead of theirs has disappeared so so fast. Oh yeah, it. Both teams are just like it, it feels like very. Both teams are very momentum based right now. Like one team will get a massive lead, then the other team will start just getting a bunch of rounds string together. Then it's suddenly tied up. It's so it's only on this. It's only on this um, this map so far. The last map is not even close. Yeah, last map Storm were playing very well, and they got a very. Nice 16 to 8 on that one. But I'd now, like map 2. It's very, very yeah. close. I'd like to remind the audience that there are free streams going at the same time. There's also a C stream showing the challenger semi final between the Angus Gamers of Cow and Tux Toppers. How did it fall? I was about to say, Papa Cap, you better spot that Ooh. shoulder. Oh my goodness. Getting the opening pick on a sway. That's huge. The top frag is gone for the Necromancers. This is a huge opening to find on the full gun round. There's literally no utility left for the Necromancers. How are they going to play this late round? It's, it's going to be a really rough late round. They're just going to have to kind of just get picks. I don't know. That, that's pretty much it. They have to pretty much rely on their gun skill. Mid, trying to get a pick on an Echo, but Echo is going to take them out. Evening it up. Two four versus four now. Although Zim's Zim getting a pick on a complex, quickly getting traded out. Dobos. Oh, Zim's is getting a multi kill here. They definitely know that it's gonna be an A tech. Bomb's getting left behind though. Uh -oh. This is a Spidey here's that reload. Twenty five. Spidey seconds. gets a pick. Ryzen might have a chance. Oh, what? Healing crush getting killed on Zim's. This round has just been opened up again. Yeah, they get a free plant onto the site. Lines. Try to walk into the smoke. Okay, but it's oh, not gonna work out as healing. Aware. Uh they're they're too aware. They get the no scope onto them. Point blank. And now Storm tying up the game 11 to 11. Oh, man. Necromancers calling a tactical timeout right as the game gets tied up. The number two seed, everybody. The number two seed. It's flawless during the season. And they're just Capitulating during the CT side campaign so far. Storm is getting all the good picks, all the openings. Cure has been instrumental in getting any of the mid picks so far. Even Swayze, putting Swayze in mid couldn't help them at all, so. Yeah, I think Necromancers really rely on their players' individual skill to get those picks and stuff, and Storm are putting up quite the fight in that aspect, and it's causing Necromancers to have quite a bit of trouble in this match. This is very rough right now for the Necromancers. I want to see them call back at the same time. What what Storm is cooking up right now has been very inspiring and I love their T-Side campaign so far. A lot of variation trying to get Hero and Crush to get the opening pick with his only off. And just this is a lot of variation in their play. Oh. As opposed to the Necromancers who only had the beach plate to back it up. Now, Raizu. 
Again, quite a bit of HP ticked off of them from that nade. Yeah, Lines is basically walking on. Yeah, the, the right HP now. difference between Storm and Necromancers right now, before they even exit. Ooh, oh! Lines who gets the first opening pick, might be good. Could and be good, although good. Spidey gets Spidey two impressive hard. picks there. Nice Nearly opening up the open site, although it. there is one player still somewhat defending the site. They will be able to get the plant down. Spidey, 7 HP though, not a lot to work with for HP. Oh, Ziv Ziv's catches, Papa Cap. It's a 2v4 retake right now. It's very, very difficult. Not impossible. And now it's actually impossible now. There's no way that Zim's without a single kit or piece of utility to his name. Yeah, he's just gonna back it out of there. Yeah, and often a 1 versus 4, it's it's a very tough retake. <sighs> that was tough. After Raizu gets the opening pick there, they just gave up two instead of two for the price of one. Oh, Ooh. that's why Z Zim's Raizu. getting caught out. Oh, oh, nice. oh no, great, they lose the op. That is, that is so unlucky for them. And now Storm ahead, well to eleven. That is very impressive from the Storm, just going straight in, getting the opening pick, and just didn't let their foot off the pedal right there. Good be executed, good separation of the duels. Again, this is Necromancer's best map by far. And they're just the GG side so far has been very unimpressive. Yeah. Not a lot of uh, people shooting, basically. Feels like they're just completely countering Necromancer's playstyle. Oh, Spidey! Getting that first pick on the sway. This round was already going to be tough due to the buy, but now it's even more tough as they're down a player. Zim's maybe in a good spot to get a play. Maybe they get a play right there. They peek out the right time or something. Back to the standard mid push here. Maybe Zims can't get a kill in cure, but here's two guns in the clear. Oh, and I could get a kill and Lies getting a kill in secure as well. Might be doable now for, for the CTs. Yeah, some good Lies picks is there. Super passive on A now. The bomb is going back to A. Rise is basically giving them the site right now. Raizu, yeah, maybe. He's definitely gonna hear this. CC will definitely rotate back now. Yeah, CC's are inching back to the A side. Spidey's in a very, very poor position. I don't think they're gonna be spotted out at all. Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, lines. He's second guessing on the push. Oh, nice out. No, Kai's gotta catch him off guard. Oh, Raizu. Oh. Spidey's this gonna catch them off guard. Position. They are not this aware position. of Spidey at all. Now they are though. Getting a kill on the complex. It's a 3v1. Now they know Spidey's position. Spidey's getting taken out. That round was so close. Oh man. Necromancers securing that round just barely. It looked really rough there, but they got it. Despite it being a substantial difference in how much of their money they put into the round. Necromancers came into that with basically nothing. Oh man. Okay, there's another update, the last update of the other contender final, quarter final that's going on. It's officially an upset alert. The cheetahs have beaten the bachelors two to one. Five, 16 to five on the last map. That's incredible. That is quite that phenomenal is for team, them. Number one seed out of play in this playoffs and the journey has ended during the quarterfinals. And yeah, we could be seeing another upset here if Storm take this map. Papa Cap might not expect to lose at all. Ooh. Oh, Papa Cap is so aware of that. Having it's it up, quite but... a bit of HP off of Raizu. They're going to stay alive, but that's half their HP gone. Very digit clearing here. From the... From the storm. Ooh, and Swayze oh. will take it. One for one for Complex. Complex killing Swayze from the babes through the flames. It's gonna be a straight A push here. Let's see if they can. Oh, Raizu. Maybe going for an off angle, but oh. Well, they spot him above the smoke. Ooh, Raizu gets a didn't. pick right above the smoke. They didn't spot him at all. The off angle works quite nicely for them. Raizu gonna have to get off that angle though, as. 
The Ramali onto it, getting the bomb down. Healing Crush getting a pick out of the lines. All that nade might take. Oh, but it actually kills them. I didn't think it would kill them, but yeah. Raizu now down. Do the nade thrown by a healing crush. Three versus That's two no now, way. favoring Storm. There's not a lot of time. I I think they are just calling for a savior. Yeah. There's not a, there's not enough time for them to actually execute on the site. That was a great great sequence of kills from healing crush there. Getting the two two open not opening fights, but just killing the two required to crack over the site. Yeah, those were two very important, impactful frags there from Healing Crush. Oh, Echo might be cash caught off here. Oh. No, they might not. Either way, despite their... Oh my, the timing. Ooh, despite their scoreline right now, in the second half, they've hit some really, really crucial shots that have turned around around for the storm. This round is no exception. And now we see the Necromancers on the, the back foot. Yeah. Storm are just playing so well this half. Necromancers are having so much trouble dealing with them. Necromancers need to change something about how they're playing because it's it's not working that well. They're getting some rounds on the board, but it feels like it's mainly due to the mechanical skill. Sway, just as I'm talking, gets uh, the opening frag on a healing crush. And Spidey also goes down from Zim's. That's a bomb. That's a bomb started on B and dropped by Sway. Oh, but Sway overextends again, giving up is an untradeable kill. That should send the CTs scrambling to B. This is com if they lose this round, it's completely down to Sway, just pushing and getting him killed kill along there. Yeah, Sway, they tend to get the opening pick, but they also tend to die right afterwards. They put themselves into really hard positions for the teammates to trade, I'm noticing. And it's kind of biting Necromancers a lot. It's a bit of a double-edged sword. Looks like they're going to try to end on B potentially. How these nades are going. Yep, Cure entering onto the site. Spot one player. Oh, gets a fantastic pick on the Raizu. Almost gets a kill on the Echo, but Papa Cap able to get the kill on the Echo. I don't know if they do. Oh my, do they not... They're not going to check that spot. Lines oh, what? Lines? Oh my god, Lines. Oh, that spot was so good for Lines. They did not check it at all. Fantastic spot for Lines to play there to secure the round for Necromancers. A very needed round there to tie things up. 13 to 13. Just just like the, just like I was singing the praises for here on Push, Lines has been getting all sorts of kills this, this half. Despite not being too successful in terms of rounds, Lines has been putting on a few kills in this half so far. It's been getting the turning the ties for the Necromancers. Maybe right now they can find their, their vibe again and they can pull it back. 13 to 13 now is the score. Let's see if they... It's going to be a full five-man alien here from the Storm. Looking like Zims is going to receive them with the up on Sandbags. Pick there from here. Oh, Echo trying to get a kill onto one of the players on the storm, but they're not quite able to get it and they decide to run away. Looks like they will execute onto A. They're about to execute any second now, but a lot of the players for Necromancers are sitting around A. So this might kind of backfire, although, ton of damage there onto Zims. Two nades still doesn't end up killing them. Spidey getting a kill on a Raizu now. Oh, no. You're just oh, barely. Truly smoke? What? Oh, wow. He killed through the smoke. Five versus two, though. It's so tough to call this, but they might have to save it, even though this will mean Storm is only two rounds away from being able to win the map. That was, that was a very, very impressive hit there. Just isolating all the loose Zims was just completely disabled with the op. Yeah, Zims got naded twice, putting them down to 10 HP. They had to just completely run away. It looks like Lions will be able to save an op, at the very least, for the next round. Yeah, Storm now up 14 to 13.
two rounds away from taking this map and winning the series. One away oh, from man. at least confirming overtime. This is a night full of upsets, I see. Storm winning this, and also in Prospect as well. The, currently, one of the top seeded teams in Prospect, the Rain in Prospect, has been dethroned by the Savannah, by the Calculus, I believe. This is a, a lot of upsets going on, man. This is a crazy, crazy night. He's just absolutely bonkers night. Here, exploring mid alongside a teammate. Come and cap with him. Ooh, oh, complex might give up the first break. Oh, but he will get away with his life. Actually, I, I thought they would take more damage. They got away with quite a bit of HP considering what kind of situation they were put in oh, right there. They're boosting the op. Oh, onto the wood wall. Oh, oh no, they're gonna boost no, Spidey. Spidey. This did work last time, but they might be aware of it this time Lines, around. Lance is playing anti flash here. They might be spotted out. Yeah, they've been naded out. Oh, they might be getting mollied in just a moment here. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, Swayze, oh. Oh, Swayze and Sims. Oh, complete the Spidey stable. nading them out. It doesn't oh. hit them for a lot, though. It barely tags them. Oh. oh. Sway oh, just man. peeks out of the smoke, manages to kill Heal and Crush, but instantly gets traded by Complex. Yeah, that's three versus really one. This is a really, really good fight oh. right now. Just completely clearing every single angle that the team CTs are playing on. Just using the nades to very good effect. This is not a contender team that I'm seeing right now. This is at least challenger or even elite level of team coordination. Just boosting. And from Yuto, just diligently clearing every single angle. Storm are putting up a masterclass of a vertical game right now against Necromancers. Yeah, this is on Necromancers' pick and one of their best picks as well. Historically, throughout this, this, the this season, is, yeah, this, this is, is one of their best, best map. maps. This is def definitely their the, the definitive best map. Like, it, it was their magnum opus before this, before this match, before this night. And yeah, now they're just getting completely shut out by the storm. It, there's, there's no way to surround it. Storm Necromancer. Is... Now, on match point, series point, and they need to win two rounds in a row just to get to overtime, and then they need to win overtime to get to our final map, Inferno, if we get to that point. Necromancer's fighting to stay alive in this tournament right now. It's all or nothing for them. They are one round away from elimination. A lot oh, of pressure man. on them. It's not It's not even Cure that's hard carrying the Storm right now. It's just Complex putting up a good, good fight. Spidey also getting all the picks and even Kappa Caps, usually the supportive element of the teams, getting really, really good fight for it. Ooh, Ashri Zim's getting, getting killed with the oh. Furrier. Crucial first pick there for Necromancers if they're going to start making a comeback into this map. Slow things down though after that pick. Oh, Heal and Crush might get caught out right here. Yeah, this is a big are they are they expecting it? I don't think they do, but oh. it looks like it's gonna be an A lean, so Heal and Crush is not gonna stick around for long. Unless they overextend. Oh and... my they might get caught out. There's a chance. Oh, oh they spot oh my God. incredible shot there from that Heal and the Crush! Open. That is a B site completely open. There's nobody on B! They just have the entire site! Oh my god. One player will be coming in, but that's just one player. They have the entire site. They're going to be getting the bomb down. This is looking devastating for Necromancer. They need to play a retake now. Healing Crush getting another pick. Three players left for Necromancers. This could be it for them. Healing Crush is absolutely dominating, but Raizu comes in with a kill. Trying to even it out just a little bit. One versus three. And the ace to finish it off. Healing Crush from the bottom frag. From the storm to the getting the W for the storm, two zero against the Necromancer. That is the first seed and the second seed gone from contender. Necromancers, nice they haven't had a single map taken from them before this point. And Storm today have taken them out two to zero. Impressive showing there from Storm. They played so well. They just completely I dismantled Necromancer's game. And not, that's not even just one person carrying. Sure, Cure had a massive class of game on Anubis in the first map. But 
every single person showing up for the tea side uh, for the storm completely completely destroying the necromancers that was a massive class of a game we have to get it we have to give them praise here yeah massive props there to them it, just it's an absolutely phenomenal game from them Oh, Healing man. Crush, man, that ace at the end there, just to, just to seal it at the very down. end. Oh, yeah, man, they, that. they must be feeling great about themselves after that ace at the end, just just to swing the deal of also getting a 2-0 on one of the best teams. Well, the best team before this point. Yeah, definitely. And that is our first grand final is locked in for the contender grand final. That is going to be Storm Wet, which is completely bringing the tide to the contenders, I believe, right now. Man, I am... with. If they play like this in the Grand Finals, like, they 100% have a shot of just absolutely crushing it. If they keep up this level of play... Yeah, and we'll have to see who's going to meet them between Sav... And I believe it is, uh, I'll have to check. But it, there's going to be another semifinal going on. It's rescheduled. But either way, it's this is a night of upsets. Yeah, just so many big names within CSC being knocked out today. I checked and it. So okay, it's going to be the Nekomatas versus the Cheetahs for the grand final spots. The Cheetahs having beaten the academics 2-1 two, two, and the Nekomaz beating the, the Fu Fighter 2-1 to one as well. So it's going to be a great game whenever we see it. But, oh man, such such a good game that we just casted. What, what do you think yeah. about it, Kagan? That That was fantastic. The, the first map, it wasn't too close, but the second map was just so incredibly close there towards the end. But at the end of the day, Storm were really wanting to win that map, and they were putting up such a good showing towards the end of it. And yeah, I think that's it for you and me here, Ethan. How yeah, was it? How was the cast? It was great. Uh, first time casting Counter Strike, and uh, I get a really good match like this. Oh yeah, definitely. And we're happy to have you here. Ethan is a new member of CSC, believe it or not. And uh, I. Now I'd like to direct you to our C stream and our A stream. Our A stream to Shatim means our CSC con CS Confederation and C stream CSC to Shatim slash CSC CS Confederation underscore C. There is the elite grand final going on and the challenger semifinal going on right now. So please give them some love. And that'll be here from us. That'll be it from us. Nitro on Ethan and the Observer Anonymous. We're out for the night. Goodbye. Yep. I'd rather be pretty much anything else than your machine. I wasn't always just a single shade, a palette full of gray in reverie. I can burn it brighter than the sun I have a golden gun inside of me I'd rather be a dreamer, I'd rather be free, I'd rather be a leader, I'd rather be a queen.